Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Now in this video we are going to discuss the topic dielectrics and polarization. Now dielectrics are basically non-conducting substances, non-conducting substances or poorly conducting substances. We can call them as insulators also. Now, before we go into the details of this topic regarding dielectrics, we need to study that behavior of a conductor in external electric field. Suppose this is a conductor and this, this conductor is placed in external electric field which is, which is directed in this direction from left to right. Okay. Now conductors we know that inside the conductor the electric field the total electric field is zero. Now why is it zero? See the conductor have they have free electrons. Okay. Now these free electrons they readjust or they orient themselves such that the resultant electric field inside this should be zero. So how this happens? This when the electric field is directed from, from, directed from this direction to this side, from left to right, the electrons, they start accumulating on this one side. So this side you will have a negative charge, excess charge. So for each electron moving to this side, there will be a positive charge on the other side. So because of this charge distribution, there is an induced electric field. These are induced charges. Remember, the total charge, there is no generation of charge. The total charge is still zero. The this is the this is induced charge on one side, this is induced charge on the other side. So this is positive charge, this is negative charge, and we know that electric field intensity is always directed from positive charge to negative charge. So this is the direction of the induced electric field. Okay, so now the value of this induced electric field is so that inside the conductor the magnitude of the external electric field and the induced electric field it is equal and they are in opposite direction so the resultant electric field inside the conductor is zero so this happens because of charge charge distribution or redistribution charge redistribution okay so this is the reason for zero electric field inside a conductor now in case of dielectrics the resultant electric field is not zero when this dielectric material it is placed inside in a external electric field again see suppose this is the direction of the electric field electric field is directed from left side to right side now again there is a induction of charges on the two opposite ends but now this induced electric field which is again opposite to the external electric field it is less than the external electric field. So in this case the resultant electric field is in this direction and it is not equal to it is not equal to zero. Okay, so when a dielectric is placed in an external electric field the field resultant field inside the dielectric is not zero but it is reduced the result the field is reduced okay but in case of conductor when it is placed in external electric field the resultant field is zero okay now we will uh, we will read in detail why this electric field is reduced how it is reduced how these charges are induced on the opposite uh, surfaces this will study in detail okay but the fundamental thing is for conductor inside the conductor electric field is zero for a dielectric or a non-conducting substances placed in external electric field the resultant field is not zero this is the first fundamental concept of dielectrics so to understand the behavior of dielectric material in external electric field we need to go and study them at the molecular level okay now dielectric molecules dielectric molecules they are of two types one is the polar molecules and the other one is non-polar molecules non-polar molecules 
okay now example for polar molecules is hcl and water h2o okay non polar molecules example is hydrogen gas and carbon dioxide now because of symmetry of hydrogen molecule carbon dioxide molecule they have zero dipole moment in absence of electric field okay now what do you mean by dipole moment we have already seen that a dipole for dipole we have a positive charge and a negative charge separated by a small distance okay positive two charges of equal magnitude separated by a small distance so this is a dipole now in case of non polar molecules what happens see in a molecule you have positive charge due to the protons and negative charge due to the electrons now in non non polar molecules it so happens that the charge distribution the positive charge and negative charge the cloud of positive charge and the cloud of negative charge cloud means the region of concentration of positive charge the region of concentration of negative charge they overlap now when they overlap the dipole length see dipole moment p it is q times twice a okay dipole moment p is q times twice a now if the positive charge and negative charge are concentrated at the same location this twice a will be equal to zero dipole length will be equal to zero now if dipole length is equal to zero this implies if dipole length is equal to zero it implies the dipole moment is equal to zero okay so dipole moment is zero so that implies for non polar molecules since the positive charges the cloud of positive charges the cloud of negative charges they, they coincide dipole length is zero so dipole moment is zero this is in absence of electric field there is no external electric field okay so this is the behavior of non polar molecules now what are polar molecules like uh, for example hcl hydrogen chloride molecule or water molecule in this case the cloud of positive charge and the cloud of negative charge they are separated by a small distance okay this is the negative charge this is the positive charge they are separated by a small distance so in this case the dipole moment it is not equal to zero okay so individual molecules they have dipole moment even in absence of electric field so these are the two basic types of molecules polar molecules and non polar molecules so based on this polar molecules and non polar molecules understanding of polar molecules and non polar molecules we are going to study the behavior of a dielectric material in external electric field so first let's see the behavior of dielectrics with non polar molecules okay now suppose this is a dielectric and it has non polar molecules so non polar molecules means uh, the positive charge and negative charges they are concentrated at the same location okay so this is the case now this is in absence of electric field external electric field e not is equal to zero there is no external electric field okay now what happens when external electric field is applied suppose this is the direction of external electric field this is e not okay now see this molecule it has a positive charge and a negative charge this is the direction of external electric field okay so the external electric field will push this positive charge to move shift in the direction of electric field and the negative charge will shift in the direction opposite to electric field so that now you will have a positive charge in the this direction and negative charge in the other direction for this molecule okay similarly the other molecules this negative charge positive charge negative charge positive charge so now since the positive charge and negative charge now they have separated by a small distance so now they have developed a polarity they have developed a dipole moment this is in case of external electric field when they are subjected with external electric field so dielectrics with non polar molecules in absence of electric field the molecules they don't have any dipole moment okay now when external electric field is applied 
the molecules they developed a dipole moment and as a whole the material develops a dipole moment okay this is for dielectrics with nonpolar molecules now what happens when we have dielectrics with polar molecules okay so we have a dielectric material so molecules are polar so they have already have a dipole moment but it is randomly oriented okay now there is no electric field external electric field okay now in this case see polar molecules at individual level molecular level each molecule have a dipole moment okay each molecule have a dipole moment but these dipole moments are having random orientation we know that dipole moment it is directed from negative charge to positive charge so since the molecules are arranged randomly they have random orientation so the dipole moment will also have random orientation so in the, though individual molecules they have a dipole moment but if we calculate the total dipole moment as a whole the net dipole moment is still zero in external electric field when the external electric field is zero there is no external electric field now what happens when external electric field is applied now this external electric field see this negative charge positive charge suppose this is this is dipole single dipole and this is the direction of the electric field and uh, suppose this is another dipole this is the direction of electric field uniform electric field now what happens we know that when a dipole is placed in external electric field there is a torque there is a torque acting on the dipole okay now what this torque does it tries to rotate the dipole so that it acquires position of stable equilibrium okay that is it will try to push this dipole positive charge in this direction negative charge in this direction so this dipole will rotate in this direction this dipole positive charge this is the positive charge this is the negative charge so this dipole will rotate in this direction so since this dipoles they have different orientations the all the dipoles will be acted upon by torque but the extent of torque will be different okay extent of torque will be different so when external electric field is applied e not okay then what happens suppose this is the positive charge this is the negative charge this one dipole okay this is another dipole so this is another dipole so now what happens see again the positive charge has shifted it has tried to shift in direction, this direction in the direction of electric field and negative charge in the opposite direction but the extent of rotation is different extent of rotation is not same okay so, but they have developed a dipole moment as a whole for the entire dielectric material okay but all the dipoles are not arranged parallelly okay for polar molecules the dipoles will not be arranged parallelly when external electric field is applied but non polar molecules all the dipoles will be arranged parallelly okay so this is the behavior of dielectrics when there is a application of external electric field okay now if we see so usually this non polar dielectrics are used for making uh, for uh, using capacitor that we will study in detail in the next few videos but for non polar molecule uh, this dielectrics one let let us see one more observation see this is negative charge this is one dipole this is one dipole this is another dipole this is another dipole okay now if you see see this is positive charge this is negative charge so in this region the total charge is zero this is positive charge this is negative charge this total charge is zero but the, this negative charge there is no charge outside the surface this is positive charge there is no ch charge opposite charge outside the surface so on the surface near the surface the dielectric material will acquire this surface will acquire a negative charge if the direction of electric field is in this, this direction this surface will acquire a negative charge this surface will acquire a positive charge and these are induced charges okay these are induced charges
and because of this this induced charges we will have an induced electric field in opposite direction okay the magnitude of induced lift this induced electric field will be less than the external electric field okay now this process of appearance of charges on the two opposite surfaces of a dielectric material when it is subjected with an external electric field this entire process is known as polarization okay now this you can uh, understand or visualize in this way also like uh, when uh, that this non polar dielectric material initially the dipole moment was zero for individual molecules it was zero for the entire dielectric as a whole also it was zero but when external electric field is applied individual molecules they acquired a dipole moment and the material as a whole has also acquired a dipole moment so in this case dipole moment was zero in this case dipole moment was not zero so this process of acquiring a dipole moment in the presence of external electric field we can call it as polarization so polarization can also be defined in such a way okay but how do you measure this polarization see in physics we define a physical quantity we also measure a physical quantity now see this polarization it is defined as or this mathematically polarization vector p okay this polarization it is proportional to the strength of the external field polarization is proportional to the strength of the external field okay and this polarization if i remove this proportionality symbol i get a constant that constant is represented by the symbol chi it looks like x chi e into epsilon naught so this is the proportionality constant and this is called electric susceptibility electric susceptibility electric susceptibility okay now in the exam they may ask you that define electric susceptibility so you will have to say electric susceptibility is the ratio of uh, polarization to the electric field so you can say that electric susceptibility is defined as polarization per unit electric field polarization per unit electric field okay now this polarization can also be defined as polarization can also be defined as dipole moment developed per unit volume okay polarization can also be defined as the dipole moment developed per unit electric field okay so this is these are the few concepts related to the topic dielectrics and polarization and i have prepared this entire video based on your ncert textbook you can go through the ncert textbook this dielectrics and polarization this is these things are given in great detail in page 71 and 72 and i have tried my best to make them a bit more understand understandable for all, the, all of you now i hope this video will be beneficial for all the students preparing for their board examination as well as for the entrance examination good luck